CARICON leaders are devising a plan to address the effects of climate change in the wake of Hurricane Irma. Good evening everyone, I'm Janae Noel Ferguson with the weekend edition of The Bahamas Tonight. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis hosting the Chairman of CARICOM, the Secretary General and other regional leaders from Sedima and other entities to lunch today, this following their visit to storm-ravaged Ragged Island. It was the final stop of five territories devastated by the storm. Now the regional leaders are standing more united than before, discussing how CARICOM can respond effectively to help its people rebuild. Our Clint Watson has the top story tonight. Hurricane Irma's effect on the Caribbean is historic. It's the first time so many countries have been battered in the region by a single storm. The visit by CARICOM Chairman and Prime Minister of Grenada Dr. Keith Mitchell as well as Secretary General of CARICOM Erwin LaRoque is being described by Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis as significant. What it shows is um, how important it is to have Caribbean integration. Their visit, especially um, Ragged Island, but with an island that was devastated here in the Bahamas. And of course, the um, Caribbean suffered um, similar type of devastation. And um, they are on a fact-finding mission um, to make determination as to how we can rebuild, not the Bahamas, but rebuild the entire Caribbean and how we can help each other. CARICOM Chairman and Prime Minister of Grenada, Dr. Keith Mitchell, toured Ragged Island Saturday to get a closer look at the devastation. He says it was a striking resemblance of what the region endured, beginning with the British Virgin Islands. And every single building destroyed except the General Hospital, where he was holding offices. All the government offices were at the General Hospital at this time, and all the minister's offices were destroyed. Then we went on to, to um, Barbuda, Again, totally destroyed, no inhabitant there. We only met a few, few um, horses and, and some mosquitoes <laughs> greeted us very seriously. So, uh, And then we, then we went to Antigua and then also Anguilla, which suffered enormously. Yesterday we went to Turks and Caicos. Again, the level of destruction is unbelievable in every sense of the word. They took us to some areas that we, we look like when you have a matchbox and you just squeeze it. It looked it, terrible. CARICOM heads held recently an emergency meeting by video conference to decide how best to tackle the great need of the region. It was decided to convene at the earliest possible time, a donor conference. Which looks about raising resources from inside and outside the region for the entire reconstruction effort of the countries affected. And to, to we look forward, that should be done very soon. But I also believe, as CARICOM now is chair of the Small States Forum, this is crucial because a lot of the, the resources, their $10 billion is meant to deal with the whole question of climate change and resilience and, and disasters and so on. And it's an opportunity for us to, to maximize the opportunities there. Dr. Mitchell pledged the support of the region and called for greater collaboration in addressing climate change. We are little by ourselves, <laughs> but we are powerful as a united front. And that's why the more we work together, the more we unite our forces, the stronger the message can be to the regional and international community. The reality is climate change is here to stay. And according to Secretary General of CARICOM, Erwin LaRoque, we must be ready to deal with it head on. This is just happening. It's, it's, I don't want to say like that, but it's almost a way of life that we have to, to come to terms with. The, the, the climate change is here. Somebody referred, referred to uh, persons uh, affected by the storm as climate refugees. Um, which is serious business, and we're going to need help to rebuild. It's going to be a long haul. We do have a collective voice. The problem is, do we have a collective listening voice? That, that is the issue more than anything else. And so the press continues as countries around the region try to get that much-needed financial support, hoping that the bigger boys will put their money where their mouth is. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News.